For other top story tonight, three Michigan State football players have been formally charged with sex assault. Donnie Corley, Dimitri Vance, and Josh King all charged in the incident that happened in an on-campus apartment back in January. So far, only one of the three has been in court. This is video of Dimitri Vance being arraigned on his charges this afternoon. We bring in Jason Colthorpe live from East Lansing. Uh, Mark D'Antonio wasn't waiting for legal action here. He's taken his own action for his team. Now, and just the same thing he did in April with another case like this, Devin. All three of those players now former MSU football players, and you certainly got the sense he was only waiting for these charges to be formalized before he laid the hammer down. It came just minutes following that. Corley and Vance, who are both from Detroit, are charged with third-degree criminal sexual conduct. Josh King, who's from Illinois, is charged with first and third, plus another charge for allegedly videotaping part of the incident and then sharing it. Vance, who went to Cass Tech High School, was a standout defensive back, was the first to be arraigned today. Using force or coercion to accomplish the sexual penetration. Before Dimitri Vance was arraigned and posted his $1,000 bond and left district court in East Lansing, a police detective testified as to what the investigation turned up. After midnight on January 16th at a party at University Village Apartments, police say Josh King pulled the victim into a bathroom, forced her to give oral sex, then raped her, and then, one at a time, let Donnie Corley and Dimitri Vance in. The victim said she was forced to perform oral sex on these two friends. The victim asked all to stop. The victim said she eventually collapsed to the floor and all three suspects left the bathroom promptly. Police say all three initially denied everything, but changed their story eventually to having consensual sex with the woman. Police turned up a group text on King's phone that said otherwise. In that group text message, detectives located dialogue between the four, indicating involvement in the sexual assault by King Corley. Neither Vance nor his family spoke to the media, but his attorney said this. Well, if you can imagine being falsely accused of a crime at 20 years old, so it's just been gut-wrenching for him. While this was going on over on campus, Vance's now former head coach was explaining he dismissed the players before the legal process played out because the morals were not where they needed to be. Well, that's unfortunate that the coach doesn't understand the presumption of innocence and hasn't heard any of the evidence, which will be fighting out in court, and I believe he will be exonerated. We are expecting King and Corley to be arraigned tomorrow morning here in East Lansing. Live in East Lansing tonight, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Well, uh, Jason, is Vance still in school there then? No, they dismissed him from there as well, even though they were fighting that. The, his attorney says they're looking for another university, but it also leads us to talk about the culture here on campus. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear from the head coach talk about whether these three dismissals, along with another player for a separate incident and an assistant coach involved in that January incident, has changed the culture here amongst the football team and on campus. Yeah. Kevin? All right, Jason.